Good afternoon, everyone. Today's story is one of my favourites. It's called A Squash and a Squeeze, and it's by Julia Donaldson. She's one of my favourite authors for children's books. What animals can we see on the front? Cow, goat, pig, and chicken. And the chicken is eating a little wiggly worm. Farm animals. A little old lady lived all by herself with a table and chairs and jug on the shelf. A wise old man heard her grumble and grouse. Oh, there's not enough room in my house. Wise old man, won't you help me, please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Take in your hen, said the wise old man. Taking my hen? What a curious plan. Well, the hen laid an egg on the fireside rug and flapped round the room, knocking over the jug. The little old lady cried, What shall I do? It was pokey for one and it's tiny for two. My nose has a tickle and there's no room to sneeze. My house is a squash and a squeeze. And she said, Wise old man, won't you help me, please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Taking your goat, said the wise old man. Taking my goat? What a curious plan. Well, the goat chewed the curtains and trod on the egg, then sat down to nibble the table leg. The little old, cri- the little old lady cried, Glory be! It was tiny for two and it's ditchy for three. The hen pecks the goat and the goat's got fleas. My house is a squash and a squeeze. And she said, Wise old man, won't you help me, please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. (laughs) He's nibbling on his bottom. Taking your pig, said the wise old man. Taking my pig? What a curious plan. So she took in her pig, who kept chasing the hen, and raid in the larder again and again. Nibbling all the food. And the goat's not very happy about it. The little old lady cried. Stop! I implore! It was titchy for three and it's teeny for four. Even the pig in the larder agrees. My house is a squash and a squeeze. And she said... Wise old man, won't you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Taking your cow, said the wise old man. Taking my cow? What a curious plan. Well, the cow took one look and charged straight at the pig then jumped on the table and tapped out a jig. The little old lady cried, Heaven's alive! It was teeny for four and is weeny for five. I'm tearing my hair out, I'm down on my knees. My house is a squash and a squeeze. And she said, Wise old man, won't you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Take them all out, said the wise old man. But then I'll be back where I first began. So she opened the window and out flew the hen. That's better, at least I can sneeze again. She shooed out the goat and she shoved out the pig. My house is beginning to feel pretty big. 
She huffed and she puffed and she pushed out the cow. Oh, just look at my house. It's enormous now. Thank you, old man, for the work you have done. It was weeny for five, but it's gigantic for one. There's no need to grumble and there's no need to grouse. There's plenty of room in my house. And now she's full of frolics and fiddle diddies. It isn't a squash and it isn't a squeeze. Yes, she's full of frolics and fiddle diddies. It isn't a squash or a squeeze. So the wise old man kind of tricked her. He hasn't made her house any bigger, has he? He just made her feel really squashed in her house by making her share it with all those animals. And then when the animals came out, her house felt pretty big after that. It was very clever. Which animal is your favourite out of these? I think mine is cow. They have really long, beautiful eyelashes and cows are actually really clever. Have a lovely afternoon and I will speak to you tomorrow. Bye bye everyone.